Hey everybody, it's Colin here from Sills Argo in Trenton. Uh, thanks for following my channel. Thought I'd do a quick video today on the different kinds of Argo steering that uh, that there is. Everybody asked me the question about the Argo APS steering system, uh, how it works, how to adjust it. This is the Argo APS steering system. Very simple, you've got your handlebars and these springs are what cushion your brake application. So underneath here is the master cylinder. And this spring mechanism, when you turn one way, you're compressing that spring, which is cushioning the brake application. That's all Argo APS is. It's nothing magical. It just cushions your brake. So for some new Argo, operators it smooths out the steering by cushioning the turn the brake application as opposed to turning your handlebars and directly jamming your brake on so don't confuse APS Argo progressive steering all new Argos have Argo progressive steering or APS but not all Argos all new Argos have Admiral transmissions. The Frontiers that have the classic transmission, this is your classic transmission. Very simple transmission, been used for years. Um, bulletproof, tough as nails, but is still not as smooth as the new Admiral transmission that came out around 2010 was the first year. It's a lot more complex. It's got an extra differential in it, which is what really smooths out the steering and saves, more importantly, saves the power when you're turning. So an Admiral transmission has um, more differentials in it. You have way less power loss when you're steering, which results in a smoother turn. New Argo Auroras are coming with Admiral transmissions, all models, doesn't matter if it's a Huntmaster or a base Aurora, they have Admiral transmissions. They also have APS. So I'm getting some people out there that are confusing APS with Admiral transmissions. Two different things, both Frontiers with classic transmissions and Auroras with Admiral transmissions both have APS. Now here's how the APS system works. I took one down off of my part shelf and took it apart because even for, for us, the first time we had to adjust the steering handlebars doing a PDI on a new Argo, it wasn't really clear how to do this. Um, you can't really see looking at this what's going on. How do it adjust? How does that work? I mean, the old ones were a simpler design, which I can show you in a minute. Um, these ones, once I took one apart, it's super, super simple to see how it works. There's your master cylinder and reservoir. This piece here slides down the shaft and threads on to the master cylinder. Then you have let me take these apart here. Then you have a spring that slides on and this end piece that cups the spring. Pushes all together. It's got a little O-ring in there. It's tricky, I'm doing it with one hand, holding the camera with the other. But this slides all together and then it sits in your steering shaft, basically, it, when you turn the handlebars, it pushes on that spring. So I'll turn the other way and see. You see that there? That's, that's it. So to center your handlebars on your new Argo, you can, by putting a, a large wrench on this or a pair of... Uh, needle nose vice grips sometimes to get in there because as you can see it's it's a pain to get at you can 
break this loose from the lock nut that should be jammed against it and then adjust this piece out all together this piece will all adjust out together and lengthen or shorten the rod on both sides do that until your handlebars are sitting straight and that's how it's done correctly now you don't want to adjust them out too much so that you're applying brake pressure on the master cylinders you want to have just a little bit of play so you're not compressing those springs when your handlebars are centered and in the rest position that's the same way to adjust on a frontier as a, an aurora the older style steering say in an avenger used instead of the spring they use this solid push rod there's no spring to this but it still adjusts as you can see again i'm trying to do this one with one hand but it still adjusts in and out and there's your lock nut there this little collar just goes on with a set screw after it's all adjusted and you can see down here on this machine the set screw goes the collar and set screw goes in against the back of this plate and that's just so that when you turn your handlebars that push rod doesn't fall out of there but again works the same you adjust those push rods being careful not to over adjust them and have pressure on your master cylinders or what's going to happen is you're going to have brake drag when you're driving so you center your steering handlebars by adjusting those push rods so this is on a older style machine uh, avengers and frontiers 2019 and older doesn't matter if they have a admiral transmission like this one here or a classic transmission like what you see in a frontier that's that has nothing to do with the steering adjustment i hope that uh, clarifies a little bit about aps steering uh, how to adjust it and the differences between the two types of steering the two types of transmissions colin here at sales largo and trenton uh, check us out on facebook visit our uh, website salesargo.ca and uh, follow my channel thanks bye